Okay, hi everyone. Today I'm going to do a little demonstration of what happens when you use Dragon for Mac with a application that doesn't support it. Now, although Nuance say that Dragon for Mac uh, works in things like Scrivener, it really doesn't. Okay, I mean it works, but that's about it. It just works. Um, but a lot of the functionality of Dragon is lost, uh, and primarily that means the ability to make corrections properly and efficiently. And it's all to do with something called full text control. Now, on a Mac, an application like TextEdit, which we have open on the screen here, uh, I've just dictated a bit of text into it, and I'm just going to demonstrate what happens uh, when I want to make a correction. So I'm just going to click on the microphone up here. Capitalize Scrivener. Go to sleep. So do you see how that instantly capitalized the last instance here of the word Scrivener? Yeah. Now up here, it kind of completely ignored this one. This is just an anomaly on the Mac because on the PC, it would actually highlight both instances of the word. Uh, put a little number next to them, a number one and number two, and then you would just choose the one you want it to correct. So if I'd wanted this, this one up here to be capitalized, then it would have uh, given me that option. I could have said choose one and it would have capitalized it. Now, you can't do that on the Mac. What you can do is click up here and you can then correct it that way. When the cursor is down here, there's no way that Dragon can get the cursor all the way back up to this instance of the word. It's It can't really seem to... Um, read beyond the last instance of the word. So if it's this one you want, you have to put the cursor manually up here with your mouse, which is kind of ridiculous uh, in a program that is supposedly all about voice control, but there you go. So you can go up to there, wake up, capitalize Scrivener, go to end, go to sleep. So do you see what it did there? Because I manually put the cursor up here, it then capitalized the last instance of it before the cursor. And when I said go to end, it went right to the end of the document again. So as you can see, it does work. Um, now we have something up here, full text support. Now this isn't repeated anywhere else in, in this um, little bit of dictation. So uh, sorry, Dragon shouldn't have a problem getting to that and correcting it. So we're going to try that now. Wake up. Capitalize full text support. Go to sleep. Boom. Look at that. No problem. So what we're going to do now is we're going to um, demonstrate what happens when you do this in Scrivener. Now, I know lots of people use Scrivener. I know, I know, I know that you're, you're a writer, you enjoy using it. Of course, you want to use Scrivener or some other uh, program as well. Um, but the reality is, unlike something like TextEdit, um, Dragon just doesn't support it that well. And it's all to do with something called full text control. Now, full text control on a Mac allows Dragon to move the cursor willy-nilly all over a document without uh, without any uh, restrictions. Now, within the um, programs that don't allow that control to drag, like Scrivener, uh, it has to kind of guess where words are. And this is where Dragon keeps what's called a cache, which is like a memory of uh, what you've dictated and where it is. But the reality is it just can't, it just can't, keep up half the time it gets it very badly wrong so I'll show you what happens in Scrivener and I'm just going to you know dictate this word for word I'm sure it'll make a couple of mistakes because um, I, I haven't actually trained this profile very much so let's see how it goes anyway wake up 
This is a test of dictation using Scrivener in Mac OS X, full stop. Go to sleep. Okay, now straight away, do you see how long it took to, to, to spell that out letter by letter almost? Again, that's because full text control isn't allowed in Scrivener. And then it put this random character at the end. This is something that has plagued Dragon for the Mac in every single version. This is version 505, the absolute latest update, and it still does it. Uh, it didn't do it in text edit, I've got to say. Um, so let's just get rid of that manually. Shouldn't, shouldn't have to do that, but there you go. Wake up. New paragraph. As you can see, comma, Dragon works best when it can make use of full text support. Full stop. New paragraph. When an app cannot do this, comma, things start to get a little wonky. Full stop. For example, comma, Dragon cannot jump the cursor to the point in the document that you want to correct, full stop. Instead, comma, the cursor has to go on a little journey backwards until it finds the word that you are wanting to change, full stop. The issue with this is that corrections are incredibly slow to execute and, comma, sometimes, comma, Dragon doesn't position the cursor correctly, full stop. This results in a situation where wrong characters get replaced or things generally start to fall apart, full stop. New paragraph. I'm going to demonstrate what I mean by this now, full stop. I would like to capitalize the word Scrivener at the beginning of the document, full stop. Go to sleep. Okay, so throughout that, I'll just let it carry on, but throughout that we had this random U for some reason, um, but I just let it get on with it. So I'll, I'll get rid of that. So as you can see, uh, for the most part, it, it got the um, recognition spot on. I was talking quite, quite slowly. It got where on. This results in a situation where on. Uh, incorrect. So let's try and correct that. Wake up. Correct where on. <laughs> Go to sleep. Okay, it's absolutely fallen apart. Um, <laughs> so what's happened here is it, it couldn't even find where on. Uh, and look at what's happened. It's just gone ballistic. So, yeah, this is a good example of, uh, I mean, I've lost the, the control here of Dragon uh, up, up there in the corner. So this is where the wheels fall off, so to speak. <laughs> Uh, and it's when you try to make corrections. Now, the answer to that for a lot of people is, well, just correct using your keyboard. Well, the problem with that is you're never, ever going to improve your profile. The accuracy is never going to get better. So, for example, it got the word um, where wrong. Uh, it got where wrong as where on. And that's wrong. I want to correct it. Well, I can't. So it's, it's always going to get things like that incorrect. And as time goes on, if you're not correcting it with your voice, then it won't uh, improve. You can't correct it with the keyboard and have it learn. So um, it's a pain. Productivity-wise, is it you know a good thing? Probably not, because you, you end up making all sorts of ridiculous manual changes and those are going to increase over time if you can't improve uh, the accuracy of your profile. So let's try and salvage this somehow. Uh, there is a phrase you can use uh, called cache document 
um, and that and also purge cash which gets dragon to kind of reset itself wake up go to sleep okay it's recovered there so I'm not going to use cash document just now I'm going to see if I can correct something else and see if it can position itself into into the um, dictation where I want it to go wake up capitalize Scrivener what I mean what happened there who knows <laughs> go to sleep Oh, there we go. It got <laughs> what happened there. Who knows? Now to get rid of that, wake up, undo last action, go to end. Cash document. Cash document. Capitalize Scrivener. Go to sleep. Okay, do you see what happened there? So it, it, it had got completely confused to the point where it just didn't know where to position the cursor. So I said cash document at the end of the dictation and now it's figured itself out again. So um, let's try something else. By rights, everything should have reset now. But you notice when I asked it to capitalize the word Scrivener, instead of in text edit where it just did that and, and capitalized it, instead the cursor goes on this little journey backwards and it takes forever to get there. Again, this is the problem with an app that doesn't allow full text control to Dragon. Um, now, if, if this was a big, long piece of dictation, you know, 20 minutes worth, uh, this would just be a nightmare to, to try and uh, correct. So let's uh, let's try another one. Let's just see if it's righted itself. Wake up. Capitalize full text support. What? Go to sleep. <laughs> I made a blurb there. Uh, were I meant to say uh, wake up uh, instead of go to sleep? I got I got it mixed up. Um, so it got it. It got full text support there. But do you see how long it took to to get there? It was it was painful almost. Wake up. Wake up. Scratch that. Capitalize Scrivener. Go to sleep. There, do you see how it was able, because the cursor was further up in the dictation, it was able to get to that first instance of Scrivener as well. So, so there you go. That's um, the difference between using an app like TextEdit, which allows full text control or full text support, as I've called it there, which is technically wrong. It's called full text control. So TextEdit allows an immediate change and it, it doesn't kind of lose where the cursor is uh, at any point. In Scrivener, it's just, a, or, or any app that doesn't allow full text control, it just becomes a far more painful affair where, you know, the cursor has to go on this, this little uh, ride back to where it needs to get to. So you can use the cache document command if you position your cursor at the end of the dictation. Cache document will allow Dragon to reset itself, have a look at what's there, and kind of get things moving again. But what it doesn't change is the problem of the cursor just moving so slowly through the text. Um, and that's gonna absolutely destroy your productivity. Now, I think if you're 
if you're able to put up with that, that's fine. Bear in mind that you want to be able to always effectively make corrections or your profile is never going to improve. For me, the easiest way to do that on a Mac is to just use text edit and copy and paste into something else. It just works that little bit better. So I hope this has been useful and I'll see you in the next video.